Hey folks, um, here is our weekly check-in for the week of February 26th through March 3rd, I believe. Um, so sorry for not getting our check-in posted last week. Um, it just, time got ahead of me and I just, there's no good excuse. Um, but hopefully everybody got everything turned in um, based on the announcements that I put out and um, just our normal, you know, itinerary that we've got. So um, for this week, we are going to go ahead and get into what we are going to be covering. Let me share my screen real quick. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So um, if we look at our course calendar, we have got... Where are we? There we are. All right. There, week eight. Um, we are covering the module five lessons uh, this week. It's going to be lessons 11 through 13. Um, and then we are also going to be completing the quarantine art assignment and uh, quiz five as well. So let's go jump back over to our modules and take a look at what that's going to be. All right. And also, I'm in the process of getting the skeletal notes uploaded for this um, set of lessons. So if you want to hold off, a little bit, um, probably till later today, it's Monday, um, if, and have the skeletal notes while you're watching the Ed Puzzle videos, um, you're more than welcome to do that, um, if that if that does help you, but I should have them out um, mid-afternoon today at the latest. So quiz five, as always, um, 10 questions, it's covering, you know, the material from lessons 11 through 13, um, which is the continuation of our mediums unit. We'll be talking about sculpture, craft, and, um, Oh gosh, what the photography is our third one in that one. And for lesson 11, the quarantine art challenge. Um, this is probably my favorite one of our discussions that we do. Um, I just like looking at y'all's uh, interpretations of this. So let's go ahead and start talking about it. So I, I came up with this assignment during um, like the first semester of the COVID-19 shutdowns. Um, and a lot of these uh this is my idea to do it as an assignment, but not my idea, like, as far as, like, the concept of it. Um, so what people started doing around this time that were wanting to still engage with the art world um, was doing these recreations of museum pieces um, where they would photograph themselves dressed up like different paintings and sculptures. And um, it got pretty, you know, intense there for a little bit with how far people were going to make themselves look like a lot of these paintings. So we're going to be doing something really similar to that. It is a photography assignment. It is not a drawing or painting or sculpture assignment. You are um, dressing up like an artwork of your choice or, you know, staging an artwork of your choice and then photographing it and um, showing that for your discussion. So I think I can go, let me make sure I can click on this hashtag here. And if you want to look at more examples, this just pulls up the Instagram um, hashtag for it. So you can see people's interpretations. And this is like, you know, there's 60,000s of these. So you can look through them for a long time. Some work better than others. Um, like this, I think, is a really good example. Well, I have to log in. Um, this, I think, is a really good example here of like seeing the painting over here on the left and then how this person has recreated it. Um, let's see. This is a good one here of this person staging like the clothing and all of that. Um, that's a good one right here, just kind of interpretation of it. But you can do any artwork of your choice. Um, let me see if I can find a few more examples. Um, should have already had this pulled up. Sorry, y'all. I just kind of want to show some of like more famous artwork that y'all have probably seen before. Um, here's a good one here. I like this one a lot. Yeah. That one's really cool how they've done like the pipe and like done similar colors and really tried to make this as authentic as they possibly can. Um, I always like to see this one too. Um, again, this is during quarantine times. So instead of doing this like, you know, big collar thing, the way that it looks there, this person's used toilet paper. Um, just kind of ironically, I really like that one a lot. Um, yeah, but you can just see there's a bunch more. Um, I mean, and obviously you're not going to have exactly what some of these are asking for, but like, you know, the interpretation of having the cat instead of like the monkey and, you know, just, just little things here and there. There's another one with the toilet paper. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you, you kind of get the idea. You're looking at a painting or a sculpture, um, or an artwork and you are creating a like side by side of your recreation of that. So let's go back over here to some of the sort of requirements that we're looking for. 
me get out of Instagram. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to go all the way back. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, I I apologize. I, I feel like I've kind of been all over the place the last couple of weeks. We just had with my in-person classes, several like schedule changes and um, just breaks and all kinds of stuff going on. So I feel like my, my heads, I also have a, a eight week class starting next week. So just to give you a little glimpse into my, my uh, personal teacher schedule right now, it's just um, been all over the place, unfortunately. So I, I promise my head will get screwed back on straight at some point, but um, I'm just, I'm just kind of keeping it above water right now. Um, all right. So let's get back into that assignment real quick and we'll finish this out. Okay. So um, this is a discussion. So I, and obviously I want, you know, you guys to look at the recreations that other people have done as well. That's the fun part of this is getting to see what everybody else does too. Um, but yeah, the first thing that you'll want to do after looking at a few of those um, more, if you'd like, is uh, finding an artwork that you want to recreate. And this could be something that you just like the picture of it, or it could be that you come across something where, um, you know, you have something that's similar as, as a prop or, um, you know, you know that you look like the person or, you know, somebody looks like the person in the painting or, you know, whatever it might be. So the only tools that you need for this activity are your imagination and a picture of a work of art that you like or find interesting. You can browse, browse the online collections of some museums and search the keywords for field ideas. Um, so like portrait, dog, etc. Those will all work well. Um, and again, just suggestions if you have something like, you know, a globe or an easel or like an outfit or something that you, you know, think is special or unique to you, then maybe finding something that sort of like corresponds with that could be cool. Um, and here's a bunch of the museums. And then as always, you can just use Google Art and Culture as well. Um, I do want to say these typically go better, like the more well known the artwork or the artist that created the artwork is. Um, these tend to do a lot better that way. If you find something like super obscure that like no one has seen before, um, it kind of just like, I don't know, it's not really fitting it quite the way that you'll want it to, I don't think. I mean, it, it may be, but you know, the, the old Renaissance portraits and, um, you know, stuff like that, that's the stuff that I feel like really hits the, the nail on the head for this assignment. So once you've selected your artwork um, and you do want to do that, and I, I want to clarify um, when you're doing this assignment and I get this a lot. So, um, I, you know, I, I want this to be a fun assignment and something that you enjoy doing. Um, what I get sometimes though, is people will have a picture that they, you know, had taken playing a sport or something. And so instead of, you know, first finding the, the painting and saying like, oh, I could pose in this way and like, you know, do something intentionally for this assignment they will take a picture that has already been taken of them from playing a sport or like doing an activity or being at the beach. And then they'll just Google like beach painting or, you know, soccer painting or something like that and try to make them match up. But you need to do this assignment that like you need to take the photo and stage the assignment in real time. It doesn't need to be a picture that you have taken, you know, prior to wow. this week, really. So um, when you've selected your, your piece and you've got it all together, You'll want to, um, you know, if it's a sing singular portrait, maybe just use yourself, but you can also enlist like your friends, family members, other classmates. Um, you can even get your animals involved um, and to recreate the photo or the portrait or group scene. So pay attention to like facial expressions. Um, lighting is really important with this as well. You want this to be as like on par from the original or for the original as you possibly can make it be. So just like little tiny details are really what's going to make this. Um, and again, you can use your smartphone camera or your digital camera. You can, you know, if you want to switch it into black and white or like sepia tone, you're welcome to do that. Or if you want to like up saturation or like make things lighter, you're more than welcome to edit this however you'd like to. Um, and then you'll just need to upload your image that you've created, like the new work, um, the new photograph. And you want to make sure that you include the original as well. So like how a bunch of those were like side by side. Um, that's how I would do it if I were you. It's just like, you know, try to put them next to one another so you can really see the differences and the similarities. Um, for your reflection, you'll need to tell us three things. The title of the original artwork and the artist, why you chose this image, and what was the hardest part about recreating this image. And then for this one, you do need to respond to three classmates. It's not just like the one classmate. Make sure you respond to three at least. And um, please note just some like extra reminders for this assignment. Um, this is not a drawing or painting reproduction of a painting. I'm not wanting you to draw or paint anything. You just need to photograph yourself staging a 
prior done painting or drawing. Um, this audio image should contain a figure and at least several other objects, figures, or animals with it. If it is like a singular portrait, like something like um, uh, let's see. If it's something like this, where it's like just a single, you know, portrait, it's it's very like simple subject matter, you're gonna want it to like you really want to gonna want to hone in on those details like this person's done here. Um, it's like very crisp, very clean, exact facial expression, similar lighting going on, similar with like this piece here. If it's a singular portrait, I mean they've even got down to like you know, where this like little separation horizon line thing goes on with the couch cushions and the similar color, you know, the, the props are all the same, facial expressions the same. Um, but yeah, if, if it's something like this, you're going to want to, you know, try to do it as, as realistic as you possibly can. Um, don't, you know, just take a picture of yourself like this without any staging or without any props or anything. Um, and expect to make a, expect to make a hundred on this. I do want you to put some effort into actually staging these um these photographs because I'll all the time have people that are with this assignment specifically that go just like all out and you know want to like have the costuming and get a lot of people involved and you know edit the photos and then really take it seriously and you know I'm not gonna like give that person a hundred for doing everything they could do and you know going above and beyond and then someone who you know just does a singular portrait and you know doesn't really put any effort or energy into it the same amount of points for that um, this is kind of one of those that you do want to, you know, kind of go above the the expectations or, you know, make this as creative as you can. Um, and then lastly, my last piece of advice is what I get a lot of the times, as well as the um, photos that are being used from like, you know, some other time period, they're not being used from or created like during this, like due date period, um, is people will, just, I'll, I'll just show you exactly what happens. <laughs> People say, oh, I have a um, golden retriever. And so let's just pretend this is, you know, a photo of your, let me just see, let's try to find one that's, yeah, here we go. This is your photo of your golden retriever right here. And what people will do is, you know, have this picture already usually, and then type in golden retriever painting. Davis book painting, right? And then they'll find a piece of like commercial art like this. And th this is not what I'm looking for. This is, this is great. You know, it's, it's a great painting, great to bring recognition to it. But this is what I would call like commercial painting. Um, it is not made for the intention of like being in a, a gallery or a museum or um, you really want to look at artwork that has been made famous for like, you know, different art periods and art styles and you know, really know the name of the artist rather than it just being like a side by side of your golden retriever that looks, you know, similar to this. And sometimes we don't even go this far. <laughs> we'll have, you know, this is the the painting that they end up trying to choose. And then the portrait is just like an already taken picture of their golden retriever that's not even in the same position or, you know, anything like the, except for the subject matter itself, there's nothing that's similar about it. So um, I hope that this makes sense as far as like what I'm looking for here. If you are confused or if you want me to kind of like, you know, assess your idea, um, feel free to email me and I can kind of tell you whether or not something's going to work or not. Or if you want to like run a painting by me, like, or an artwork and say, hey, is this a good one for me to recreate and like, you know, get some tips on it or whatever. Um, happy to do that with you guys um, at any time. So if there's any questions or like need any clarification on what I'm looking for here. Um, just let me know and we can talk about it and I can, you know, try to get you some, some feedback for it. And, um, really other than that, though, all you're doing is, uh, going over the Ed puzzles that are also, you know, for this week as well, that'll be in your Ed puzzle folder. As always with the Ed puzzles, please make sure that you are watching. And, and this week we do have several because we're going over different craft artists. Um, please make sure that you watch all the videos that are in the folder. Um, they all are participation points. So um, it's going to be important that you, you know, watch all of those if you want 100% on those. Um, I'm also working on grading your um, Ed Puzzles from last week. As always, please remember that um, your Ed Puzzle grades will change um, after the due date has passed. So if you've got a zero or like a lower grade, 
It's not that that's actually what your grade is going to be. Um, it's just that I haven't manually corrected the grading yet. So I'm working on that today as well. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if you guys have any concerns or questions um, about this week's assignments, please let me know. Um, and otherwise, I will talk with you next week.